As you can see, there is a fence uh, which is lining the service down here at the Cenotaph at Martin Place here in Sydney. It is an invite-only event due to coronavirus this year. Only 100 people will be allowed to attend, but in attendance uh, will be the Governor of New South Wales, the Honourable Margaret Beasley, also the Dean of the Consular, Carl Hartleb, the Acting Veteran Affairs Minister, Jeff Lee, other senior officials from the State Government, Defence Forces, Emergency Services and Veteran Associations. And today... Uh, the sails of the Sydney Opera House have been illuminated in a display of red poppies as the city pays tribute to those who paid the ultimate sacrifice. And at dawn, a bugle played in what was a very calm, very still morning uh, down at Circular Quay at Sydney Harbour. And standing beside that bugle player was the acting president of the RSL, Ray James, and also uh, the acting veteran affairs minister, Jeff Lee. Today is it Armistice Day, it's about Remembrance Day, it's about paying tribute to those that pay the ultimate sacrifice from the First World War, Second World War, all the great wars and every theatre of conflict. Today we remember those that defended our country, defended the freedoms that we enjoy today. Now, the minute silence will take place at 11 a.m. This service will conclude at 11.20. You will be able to live stream the event. And because it's invite only, for those who uh, are not able to attend, a full recording of the service will be made available at a later date on the NewSouthWales.gov.au website. Tom.